like the people in the black and white photos hanging on the walls of Gorman's restaurant. My wife certainly jokes about that, but I mean, there's, there's our restaurant when we bought it. That's Ed Gorman has right, seen so. difficult days. The pictures really do tell a tale on uh, how tough things were back in the day. Celebrating 40 years in business this summer, it's not always been easy, but his hands-on approach and hard work has paid off, loyal customers seeing him through the toughest time yet. We definitely been through some very difficult times. In the 80s, there were some recessions, nothing like what we're going on with right now. Growing up on the east side of St. Paul, Gorman began his career in service at 14, working at a drive-in, then working his way up through a series of restaurant management jobs, eventually answering an ad for a 20-seat restaurant in Lake Elmo. So we had uh, three kids when we first opened the restaurant here. Uh, our daughter Angie was just a little baby in a high chair. I'd bring her to work and she'd sit in the kitchen with me and I'd be in the kitchen and she'd be in a high chair. And <laughs> it was and it remains a family affair, representing three generations. His daughter Angie waits tables, one of his two sons manages, and three of his grandchildren are carrying on tradition. This is my grandson Connor and our son Kevin. Though the history of Lake Elmo is rich, the city is without a center, making Gorman's the place to come for breakfast served all day, a story, or usually both. Yeah, by default, I believe that this would probably be the Lake Elmo Historical Society because a lot of these people are from here. A lot of these farms are six, like I say, six generations ago, and there's only one farm, really major farm, left right next door. With over 1,000 pictures and countless artifacts dating back more than 150 years, Gorman knows the narrative behind each one. Gilroy Club, there's only, uh, there's two gentlemen left. They used to meet here. He began collecting 25 years ago with people from town giving him valuable heirlooms in order to preserve their family's roots. The collection growing along with the space, he's added on six times. Come on in, come on in. Thank you. You're welcome proving hard work, perseverance, and a little help from loyal patrons can see you through even the darkest days. It's tough, you know, we'll make it through. We'll make it through.